welcome to another episode of Family Gamer TV. I'm with Russ Harding, creative director for Wonderbook. And does Book that, of Spells? And, and is, is it both? Is it Wonderbook and Book of Spells that you look uh, after? Book of Spells I've been looking after, actually, yeah. at the moment. It's just the first in a library of content. So yeah. uh, the Wonderbook is actually the book peripheral itself, so the yeah. actual book, cardboard and paper book. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we saw that at the um, Sony Press Conference, which is this new sort of peripheral you use with a PlayStation Eye, is that yeah. right? and the move controls, and it creates a sort of a virtual book. So as you put the, the blank pages in front of your PlayStation, um, they get populated with all sorts of fantastical things. And so the, the book we're talking about today is Book of Spells, yes, yeah. which um, J.K. Rowling has put together for yes. Wonderbook. So it's been a collaboration between yeah. us and Lon uh, London Studios and um, J.K. Yeah. Rowling. So that's yeah. been an amazing yeah. experience and opportunity, really. Yeah. Have you got to meet her? Did she come well, in? We've, we've met her, yes. <laughs> and, and she's come in and she's had a go at yeah. playing it too, yes. Yeah, and what did she make of it? Oh, she's been part, so much part of it. Um, yeah. I think she, she really loves the experience because it's quite unique. It's really mm -hmm. different. It's kind of a, it's also a very much a new reading type of experience as well. So. Yeah. Um, and the world's very much, uh, it's, it's really great fun exploring new parts of her world, mm -hmm. so... Yeah, um, and so she's written quite a lot of new content just for, for Book of Spells, so it's not just yep. drawing on the existing sort of fiction. There's no, fresh, no, there's, fresh fresh, there's a lot of fresh information in, in the Book of Spells, there's a lot of spell descriptions, um, there's some really great, great fun stories written around the spells, yeah. some real whimsical stories yeah. just written. Um, and you get a great opportunity to interact with those stories. And then she's written a really, really beautiful series of six poems. Uh -huh. And these six poems contain the values of a true, well, of a wizard, yeah. a witch or wizard. Yeah. Um, and as you go through the Book of Spells, you need to kind of discover those values. Mm -hmm. So you get rewarded these at the end of actually carrying out a test. Uh -huh. So you get one at the end of each sort of area do you yeah so at the end of each chapter being mm -hmm. a book it's a chapter uh, yes yeah, yeah you receive a test yeah. and at the end of that test you'll get you'll receive the conundrum so uh -huh. the, this poem and then it's for you to work out what that that witch or wizard what value they didn't have uh -huh. so yeah it's it's kind of a it's a really rich story driven mm -hmm. um, experience as well. So that means you have six chapters in, in the in the book, is that right? With the six spell with the six poems? Well, there are actually five chapters containing spells and uh -huh. then we have a chapter where you have magical um, collectibles. So these uh -huh. are items magical items you find in the text. Yeah. So that those uh, the, like those 3D items that you saw in the book. Uh -huh. um, and then we have a section where you can c collect your, your notes from the professor who keeps rewarding you house points. Mm -hmm. um, the sixth and final um, poem comes right at the end okay. and it will ask you what were the values you learned. So, yes, yeah, so you need to know them by then. You have to know <laughs> them by then. Yeah. And were there particular technical difficulties? Now, I'm a big fan of iPad. Um, but part of using iPad is that it's a sort of compromise. It's a wonderful experience, but you know, it's not. It doesn't always work 100. percent But for my family, um, it, was, it didn't matter because it was, it was so much fun that we were quite happy to get the room set up, get the lighting yeah. you know, sorted, so that so that it had the best chance of working. Were there particular technical difficulties for Wonderbook and for Book of Spells? Um, well, I think with any of these te technologies, trying to make it as robust as possible so yeah. that you don't spoil the experience of it yeah. is always a challenge. But we've with the team that worked on iPad, and we've been working on this technology since mm -hmm. iToy yeah. in PS2 days. Yeah. So we've worked um, to try and improve that robustness. Mm -hmm. um, also, just having the book um, as a, is is a lot more flexible. So yeah. it's a large thing for the camera to see. So it makes yeah. it a little bit more robust in mm -hmm. that way. So you're saying you worked on the iPad and the iToy back on the PS2, and then the iPad on the PS3. Um, what sort of knowledge and you know, approach have you brought over from that to the Book of Spells? Well, I think it's, it's, to, it's constant evolution of that technology. Mm -hmm. um, learning how people use it, learning about people's homes. Yeah. Um, and and we, we keep working with users. We have a lot of usability testing, so we have a lot of children playing the, mm -hmm. the games and trying to keep them intuitive. Also for our audience, we want to make sure that the, the younger younger kids in the family can yeah. actually still have a really good experience and play through yeah. and that there's enough challenge then for the older old, older members of the family or even for me to go back in and, yeah. and, and you know play through and yeah. get, get some kind of reward as well for yeah. it so 
has it got a particular age rating yet, or is that? No, we don't have an age rating yet, but we're we're kind of targeting between the six to twelve year olds, uh-huh. um, and any Harry Potter fans. <laughs> yeah, out there, because um, Harry Potter can families. be quite difficult, can't it? Because it starts quite tame and quite young, the books themselves, anyway. Yeah, well, actually, as you go through the ch- chapters, we actually do build up the tension. So we start very simply with the very basic spells that you would learn as a student at Hogwarts, yeah. then build up to the much more complex, mm-hmm. more challenging spells, yeah. um, to the point where maybe you cast your Patronus, so yeah. which is the ultimate spell. Yeah, so. is it? I'll see, I, I need to ask my daughter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's that one? <laughs> so has it, has it got a price and has it got a release date yet? Um, it hasn't got a price, but the book will come with the software at no cost okay. and it'll be available from November so mm-hmm. and then this is just the first book but this is be... the first in a library of, of books and there'll be a lot more following up um, I dare say we'll be talking about new titles soon. yeah yeah now was there um, was there attention when you were going to announce this because it, it seems to be quite interesting that you've come to E3 which is maybe slightly more hardcore gaming focused than something like New York to- Toy Fair to sort of release or announce the book I think for us it's about, um, you know, this is an interactive industry and yeah. we should really go out and talk about our yeah. new content. Yeah. And yes, it's a different type of title, but um, it's still a lot of new in- innovative technology. Mm-hmm. Um, gaming's relevant to families nowadays. Um, it seems appropriate to be at a gaming event. Yeah. Um, yeah, well, I, I like the way that you being here and say some of the Nintendo announcements, it does start to change what this, the big video game sort of conferences are. And it's not all about sort of hardcore gamers, it is about a much broader offering. So um, yeah. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're really glad good. to be here yeah. too. That's all we've got time for this week on Family Gamer TV, but we'll be back with more soon.